Hello, my name is Zain Asad from Asad Z-Man Films, and today we're going to be talking about the tools I use for my film production. Each set is really different, and like, like it depends like who's running the show, and especially it depends on who's producing it and stuff like that. But yeah, this doesn't include like the lenses or the cameras, or handy tools that made the set go by smoothly on the different sets that I've been on so far. I know for a fact that these would come in handy. Anyways, the first things up is the air blower. This classic air blower is very good in handy situations, especially for cleaning lenses and also cleaning the inputs for like audio devices and stuff like that and like blowing out like little tiny hard to reach areas that you can't really reach. This is really good for delicate items as well, like especially if you need to clean some something delicate and you don't want to like make sure, I don't know, like the back of this lens. Next up is the flashlights. So flashlights are very important. It's always good to have flashlights on uh, hand. This is like a weird flashlight. I don't know why I'm showing you this flashlight. But it's always good to just have multiple it's, uh, uh, multiple flashlights as well. Like depends. Because especially in dark situations, it freaking sucks not having a flashlight. More flashlights. Because you could have more flashlights. If you have more flashlights on your set, you could just like pass them out to everyone so everyone could have a flashlight. It sounds crazy, but if you're working, if you have like, if you hired like production assistants and they don't have their own flashlights or whatever, freaking give them a flashlight. Next up is the binder clip. The binder clip is really useful as heck. And I'm not talking about the C47, the clothespin. I'm talking about the binder clip, the, I don't know what you would call this actually, a binder clip. These things are pretty heavy duty and these things work really well, especially with hanging up gels in front of lights so you could get, get different color temperatures and stuff like that. And also it's it comes in handy, uh, it comes in very useful, like I'm using this, the binder clip actually for holding up this tarp. Next up is bongo ties. Bongo ties are really important just because bongo ties are really sick and they're useful and they're handy, especially with wiring and cables. And uh, if you're working with like G&E, they're gonna, and the G&E doesn't have any bongo ties, they're gonna love you if you have any bong if you have bongo ties, or even zip ties. They're gonna love you if you have zip ties, which brings me up to my next thing actually, which is the zip tie. Zip ties are really useful and handy, especially if you don't have any bongo ties. As you can see, I have some HDMI cords here that I zip tied for storage and organization re reasons. The next step is a Sharpie. Sharpies are so freaking important. I don't know why. Sharpies, especially in your on set and you need like a water bottle, everyone needs to label their water bottles. Everyone needs to label, label the water bottles with a Sharpie. Label on the craft food services department next to the water bottles at all times because it's always good. And if you're a production assistant, it's always good to have a, a, a Sharpie. T marks. So T marks I put on this list just because you can make homemade T marks and they're really cheap to uh, if you want to go to the hardware store you could just buy like things that are already shaped like T's basically and you could just paint them or like tape them with gaff tape and you have some T marks like super glue it but yeah they work really well and stuff and they give your actress some markers to work with shears and scissors the shears and scissors uh, are really important I'm always Needing to, uh, I'm always uh, needing to cut something. I don't know whether it be like rope or some sort of material. It's always good to have heavy duty scissors that could cut through things. Next up is the grounding adapter. The grounding adapter is really important too because this thing actually saved me a couple times, especially where it came to I was hooking up extension cords and there was only a two prong outlet for some reason in this old, old vintage house and I needed to set up some extension cords. I used this and it saved me. Next up is a multimeter. A multimeter is very handy. Actually, this would have saved my life if I had ha, had it at the time. But now I got one for free actually at the local hardware store. And this actually saved me a lot. And, oh, well, now it's saving me. But I just use this. I'm just going to use this just to, what's it called? I just use this to really just test batteries and then test like uh, 110 volt uh, AC AC outlets really, but nothing that I don't really trust. Like I look at it and I'm just like, okay, sure, sure. Cause I got this multimeter for free. So I'm just like, I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to test a battery. So on the multimeter, this battery is supposed to be 1.5 volts, fully charged 1.5 volts. And it says it's 1.6 volts. I don't know why it says it's 1.6 volts at that battery. Um, 
yeah so that means it's either fully charged or it's about to explode so pliers so pliers are really important especially when you're working with zip ties you need to use the pliers to cut the zip ties next up is ra a razor blade razor blades are important especially because you're always cutting something so it's always good to have a nice razor blade on hand you never know when you're going to need a razor blade same with the tape measure. Tape measures are always important to have a tape measurement so that way you could measure the distance between how far the distance is from the camera and the actor or like whatever the actor needs to go to or whatever, you know what I mean? It's always good to have exact measurement. And the next thing is noise canceling headphones, especially if you're working with explosives or some sort of weapons for loud explosions and stuff like that because you never know when you're going to make some things explode. You never know when you're going to need pyrotechnics and techniques in your film next thing is first aid kits so first aid kits are very important because it's always good to have a first aid kit on your set you never know when you're going to need a band-aid when you accidentally cut yourself with either a paper cut or a freaking nail goes through your hand it's crazy actually always have a safety kit and always know and always tell everyone where the safe first aid kit is on set next thing is the flathead screwdriver flathead screwdriver of course is to undo the base plates of cameras and the tripod and other things too that require flatheads. I used my flatheads the other day to open a, 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 a can of paint. You never know when you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. Next thing up, you don't really need this, but it's all, it's really, it's really professional to have actually. Like it just changed my whole like life having this. It really made my whole life organized <laughs> since, I made my whole life get more organized ever since I got this label maker. It's, it's fucking crazy actually. You can get one for pretty cheap. This one was like, $25 at the local store but I got it on a sale that they were doing it's it's usually priced at like 50 bucks but you get one for pretty cheap for like 30 bucks 20 bucks uh, you label everything everything that you have it makes it look so much more professional as well hand sanitizer you also want to keep a clean and sanitary set like you don't want to have like a dirty and roughed up set with grossness everywhere and everyone's coughing on each other especially like you know what i mean like if someone's like coughing and someone has like a a, a sickness you know what i mean and they should they should let others know and they shouldn't be showing up on set i mean sure they have to get paid and stuff like that but it's always good to just be clean and stuff like that where you know what i mean i don't know it's crazy and these ones post-it notes and line post-it notes i don't know what i would call those post-it lined notes i don't know but yeah, post-it line notes are really good to have and they're like super, super awesome because you could just write notes, especially when you're taking down things, when you're working with a client or when you're working with like, when you're working on the go and you're, uh, and you need, it's like a quick run and gun thing to pull out from your like side pouch that you have on. So it's always good to have a, a post-it note on the side of your thing. It's kind of like keeping like a little notebook around. Like it's always good to have a notebook as well. I should put that on my thing. I don't know why I didn't put that on my thing, but it's always good to have no a notebook and post it, post it notes as well. This thing is the seven inch bench brush. Actually, you just need a bench brush. Basically you need like a small little thing that you could just like quick, like, you know what I mean? For small areas, for, this is perfect for small areas, especially like, I don't know. It's all, it saved me a couple times and it helped clean the area like a couple times really well so it's honestly you just need a bench brush and like one of those scooping scooping scooper things as well next up is a funnel especially uh, so you need a funnel so i've needed a funnel so for so long and i freaking finally got a funnel at like 23 years old funnels you could use for like blood and when you're pouring blood down things i don't know it's all i, I never had a funnel and now i have a funnel so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using it in the future because I've had so many instances where I've needed a funnel and I've never had a funnel. So now I have a funnel. The next up is a hammer. Now you need a hammer for set construction, basically. You need a hammer for set construction, for pulling out nails and stuff like that. I worked on some set construction and it was just like, this was like a second thing, like next to like the drill, like the drill and the hammer. That's what you need on set construction. That's all you need and some wood. And you could build whatever you need. You could build walls. You could build stages. You could do whatever you need. But it's always good to have a hammer. You have the next up is a mallet. A mallet is crazy. This is for like softer material or like crazy. Like you know what I mean? This is for different material. But it's always good to have different types of hammers. So you need a hammer, a mallet, 
and you could create like a props with this mallet. You could like easily like do things with this mallet easily. You could create props with this mallet. And the last but not least is the grips. These grips are bomb. All you need is a few of these or like all these and you have like a set because especially heavy duty grips like these. Heavy duty grips like these could hold up like ferny pads and stuff like that. Next up, another another good thing to have are elastic stretch cords. Elastic stretch cords are really good to have just to hold up like tarps and stuff like that as well as like shading material or like, you know what I mean? If there are trees around or poles around, you could use some elastic stretch cords for sure. Uh, how to keep everything really organized and stuff like that. You keep all your items like elastic stretch cords and like light clamps. You can get some ammo boxes. Ammo boxes are so cool, actually. And these ammo boxes are uh, are are pretty affordable, and they work really well. So they say that they're waterproof. I don't know. I'm not sure, but they're pretty heavy duty, and they they make everything just like organized and look more professional. Yeah. So those are just basically some different tools that I use for filmmaking, and they've helped me out. So yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and stuff like that. As you could know, you could support us at Z-Man Films on, uh, on Patreon. You guys could check it out in the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching.